Learn to talk. It's possibly one of the most intimate songs I've done in a long, long time. It's very fragile, it's very delicate. I think it's, for me it's very, it's very emotional, but it's very real. It's about my journey, but whoever listens to it can, would get something very strong from it, I think, because I've tried to encapsulate that, that it's, yeah, there is my journey in there, but it's, it's a kind of universal journey. You know, like the last lines are, on this land I want to walk for at last I've learned to talk because I've, I've been on a personal journey which has given me the courage to actually believe in things more than I've ever done. I have a very hopeful and much more stronger and more spiritual outlook on life than what I've ever had. And that's given me an incredible freedom to participate in life in a very different, different way. And that's really what it's about. And then there's a big chorus at the end. You have their big drum fill break and then into the big full on chorus of, you know, hold on, never let it go. Really wanted to finish the album. It's finishing on a ballad as traditional old school kind of ballad goes. It's a very spiritual and very gospel and very evocative big chorus at the end. Hold on, never let it go. And that's, that's something that I really truly believe in. I'm really glad that we ended on that sentiment because it just takes you through this album, all of these songs, and then you have the chorus that unifies. And so whoever listens to this will be drawn into that chorus and will actually want to sing along to that, that lyric and, and that sentiment. And so the idea and the purpose really is to draw, draw the listener in and to, for them to actually be part of that, that chorus at the end. So that kind of brings 